Hey Summer, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to find something funny to say, or punny to say, for New Year's to open up the OBC episode, but I'm not finding anything. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, anyways, Happy New Year, OHS. This is the first episode back of 2017 of OBC. I'm Emily. I'm Summer. And let's get into it. Haven't seen you since last year. Oh, that was awkward. Speaking of words that start with A, I have a few athletics, academics, arts, but let's start with area. Sounds good. My name's Joe Bloom, and this is Elevator Interviews, where the interview lasts as long as the elevator ride. My name is Joe Bloom, and we're here with another elevator interview. Today I'll be interviewing Officer Parkhurst, who is the new school resource officer. So let's step up. All right. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name's Adam, 29 years old, and I've been with the police department here for seven years. Nice. What's something you're excited for to be here at OHS? Uh, I'm excited to learn about the, the students and getting to know you guys and uh, working with you guys. Alright, um, what made you decide to like come to the school? Um, I thought it would be a good place to uh, uh, interact with the kids and make a difference in their lives. Alright. This has been another elevator interview. What exchange students do we currently have at Oconomowoc? Each year we get seven foreign exchange students from across the world. What is the process of housing exchange students? Our organization, AFS, uh, works with our families in finding host families each year uh, for the students that are going to be staying with us for the, for the academic year. What do you feel is the coolest part of meeting so many exchange students through the years? Probably learning about their countries and cultures. Our kids learn as much from them as they learn from us. A super cool experience to have a little bit of a different part of the world in our school for a year. And how can we as students sign up to become an exchange student to another country? If you wanted to be an exchange student, you probably would start with setting up a meeting with me and we could talk about possible programs, uh, possible countries you might want to visit, whether you want to do a semester, year-long stay, uh, probably have a meeting with your parents, and then I would connect you with uh, probably AFS as a sponsoring organization awesome. to set up experiences for kids to study abroad. All right, thank you. You're welcome. No, no, we can't do this. We don't, don't have our stuff. I don't have my bow. He doesn't have his stick. There's no I'm so thing. sorry to bother you, man. We just, so sorry. We just can't do that. Brandon, we got the bow. Oh, where's my stick? Oh. We're back in business. Oh, yeah. What's your New Year's resolution? Oh, I just want to complete one thing every month. One thing every month. One thing, not two. One. Thanks, Benny. Who's that? I've heard that there's been imposters around. They stole our sticks. We gotta find them. Oh, yeah. You! You! I'm so confused. What's our New Year's resolution? One of the abs. He wants to get abs. How many? Get those abs, big boy. Three. Both of you. Get over here. You first. Frick. I don't, I don't have, I don't know. How dare you? Oh, and you. Do you want to be a better person? Yeah. That's By the way, have you seen our imposters? Have you seen the imposters around lately? I have. Yeah. They went that way. That way. That way. What's your New Year's resolution? Resolution. What's it? Gain some weight. Gain some weight. Gain some weight. All right, big boys. Have you seen our imposters? Yes. What's imposters? Fake stick and fake globe. You know what they are. You're under oath. I have no idea. Yeah, thanks. Get him! <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, y'all, yeah, little imposter? Do I do a bad job? 
can never replace the globe and stick. Oh, stick. Oh, oh, oh. stick a mania, brother. Ooh. Okay. On your mark, get set, and go to the OHS Mario Kart Double Dash Derby January 28th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Get your money in ASAP and sign in with Krill immediately. Here's an image of the flyer. They're all around the school. If you need any details, go see Krill. Hey, let's talk about sports. Okay, speaking of athletics, let's take a sneak peek inside gymnastics. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm with a couple of girls from the gymnastics team, Maddie Rice, McKenna Meanier, and Savannah Waller. Um, so Maddie, how did the first two meets go? Um, our first meet was hosted by West Bend East, and as a team, I thought we did pretty good. Um, me individually, I placed fifth on beam, and then our meet last week was home, and as a team, we did pretty good, and I then placed sixth on four. Okay, and McKenna, what's your favorite part about being on the team? On this team, it's just one big family. We all get along so well. At the meets, we all snuggle like one big blanket. It's honestly so much fun. I love it. Okay, and Savannah, um, what are you most looking forward to for the rest of the season? Um, probably just to see like everyone improve. The next meets are going to be JV and Darcy, so that should be fun to see how the JV girls do. And yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Hey OBC, I'm Peter Alexander and I have been able to become a part of the senior director show that's here at uh, the Oconomowoc High School and um, this is my first time being in a production here and uh, since I've been in sports and all those kinds of things, uh, so let's go take a look at an interview we just did. Hello, I'm Christian Grillet here with Sam Gaskin, Zach Shaman, and Peter Alexander from the senior directed play. Um, do you guys just want to talk about your experiences so far? Um, well, for all of us, this is our first play at OHS. For me and Zach, this is our first play ever. Um, mm -hmm. We played football for all four years, so this is a, kind of a good way to change it up. Yeah. Yeah, I think my first exposure to theater was in Mr. K's drama class, so I don't know, that started my interest in it. For me, I think it's, a, it's just a new experience, something to kind of push out as a senior, uh, to kind of get you exposed to new people, a new group, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a great experience, a lot of good people. You guys should definitely come see the show Baskerville the last week of February. Mm -hmm. Sherlock Holmes mystery. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Starring these renaissance men. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that interview. Uh, don't forget to come check us out. Uh, Zach, Sam, and I are really excited to be a part of this, and I hope you guys uh, get to come see us last weekend of February. Rehearsals for the senior-directed show Baskerville are in full swing. The actors are acting, the techies are teching, and the costumers are costuming. Beth Miller, a senior at Oconomowoc High School, is the costume director for this year's show, and she's doing something a little different. Instead of figuring out and finding all of the pieces to each character's costume by herself, she has assembled a team of people who will all get assigned to a specific actor and the characters that they play. Yes, characters. Each actor plays around four separate parts. That's a lot of lines to memorize but I'm positive that the show is going to be brilliant. Continue to watch the OBC every other Monday during Pride for more updates on the show. Since the term and semester is almost over, let's see what's happening in academics. Getting to know. Getting to know. Getting to know. An administrator. Dr. Moylan, the principal at Oconomowoc High School. So, how long have you been a principal here? Fifteen years. So, what is your favorite thing to do, like, outside of school, outside of being in the administration? My favorite thing to do is probably garden. I like to grow plants, and I like to preserve food and save summer. Why did you get into education? Um, I was working as a, a public mental health therapist, and um, I really wanted to work on the on the public end of helping kids um, to be healthy in their choices and in their mental health and so I went to back to school to become a, a, a high school counselor and that's how I got back into the mix. What's your favorite thing about working at Oconomowoc? Um, 
Well, it's kind of a, a two-part answer. Um, I think the first part is I really love working with kids and love working with the kids at this school. And the second part is a little bit probably more silly, but I love the big cookies that are warm when they come in the afternoon to the <laughs> cafe. Those are like my favorite and probably why I can't lose weight. Oh. <laughs> I'm Joe Bloom and I'm here with Mr. Huebner today. Uh, Mr. Huebner, would you explain like what are these structures that you have hanging outside your room? So uh, these structures are a project that I had my students do. And uh, what they did was they picked a molecule of their choice, a complex organic molecule, and they applied uh, various things like uh, bond angle, polarity, uh, bond shape, and they applied it to a large molecule. Instead of just memorizing facts, they're applying it to something that um, they might be more interested in, like in this case, uh, methamphetamine. And why do you have kids like make a structure rather than do like a test of something? Um, the main reason is you know, students find uh, a test sometimes less uh, interesting and uh, they find it hard to apply it to um, the real world. Whereas if they do a project, they uh, can build it, they can use their own uh, creativity, it's more personalized, and um, it's more meaningful. Thank you. My name is Amber and I'm here with Mr. Razatek asking him why he became a teacher. So when did you become a teacher? Um, this is my 18th year of being a teacher, so right, right out of college, that's what I went to school for. Okay, and what other schools have you taught at? Just one other school, um, St. Thomas More High School in, in Milwaukee. Okay, what do you like about teaching at Oconwalk? Um, students are, are pretty nice most of the time, okay. so yeah, good kids. That's good. And why did you become a teacher? Um, initially, I, I really, uh, I really wanted to coach, and uh, now I, I actually enjoy teaching. That's good. Thank you. Sure. All right. So that closes off another episode of OBC. It was great being your hosts. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, your Finstagram. We'll see you in two weeks. Getting to know. Getting to know. Getting to know. Administrator. Administrator.